National Assembly is set to receive President Mohamedou Buhari for the presentation of the 2023 Appropriation Bill. The House of Representatives adopted the recommendation of its Committee on Finance, which recommended 1.7 trillion naira for petroleum subsidy in 2023. Joke Adisa has details. The passage of the medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper by the two chambers of the National Assembly has now paved the way for the formal presentation of next year's budget. The report of the Finance Committee, presented by its deputy chairman, pegged daily crude oil production at 1.69 million barrels per day for 2023 and 1.83 million barrels per day each in 2024 and 2025. New borrowings proposed of 9.32 trillion, including foreign and domestic borrowing, statutory transfers of 722.11 billion, proposed debt service of 6.31 trillion, sinking fund 247.73 billion. The 19.76 trillion Naira 2023 appropriation bill proposal has a total recurrent non-debt of 8.53 trillion Naira, personnel cost of 827.8 billion Naira, capital expenditure exclusive of transfers at 3.96 trillion Naira, special intervention recurrent amounting to 350 billion Naira, and special intervention capital of 7 billion Naira. After plenary, Abdullah Sayidu appeared before parliamentary reporters to throw more light on the content of the report. He explains why 10 out of the 63 revenue generating agencies of government are recommended to be placed on the cost of collection. If we define it and we see that 5% or 10% of what they are collecting is enough to take care of their operations, you place them on that, of course it will come with an amendment of our laws. And by the time you do that, you'll be able to prudently manage your resources and the country will be better for it because they will be remitting more than what they are doing uh, as, as at now. In says revenue generation and not borrowing is Nigeria's problem. For a developing economy, I don't think we're doing too bad in terms of our borrowing. The emphasis, I think, should be on what we are generating. Are we generating enough? I think that's where we need to uh, lay our emphasis on. We need to show up our revenue generation level and we also need to look at how prudent we manage our resources. The House also recommended a significant reduction in waivers and tax exemptions of corporate organizations to cushion the effect of the budget deficit. Chuck Edson, TVC News. Thank you.